Hello preppers, welcome to Goshen Prepping. Of course, we stockpile, we prep, we prepare for whatever may come. And when the government comes down and tells us to prep, we need to pay attention to what they're saying. And it's not simply just for prepping reasons. Let me show you. I don't know if you heard about this. This is from the Express. Brits are given the act now warning to stockpile three days of food in case of enemy attack. Oliver Dowden is to warn that attacks from UK's enemies could trigger where Brits need to stay indoors for a period of days. And I think most people probably have food set for three days. Even college students have like ramen and stuff sitting around three days. And it may not be on the lap of luxury, but most people have three days anyways. But it's it's interesting. Why would they always tell us to prep three days? In fact, if you go to like ready.gov or the CDC or one of our beautiful agencies in America to tell us to prep, they always say three days. It's always People usually have three days of food, even if it's just cans of corn. A can of corn will get you by for the day if you need be. So what is going on here? Why are they making such a big stink now in Britain? Is it because of Russia? And that certainly seems to be what they're saying here. It seems to be. From today, British families are urged to stockpile three days worth of food and water to build national resilience amid, yeah, here it is, threats from China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. Interesting. Now, they call on the people to plan being without access to key services in the wake of prolonged power cuts, cyber attacks, and flooding. And again, their verbiage seems innocent. It seems to be like, hey, you know what, guys, we want you to prep. We don't want you to prep long term, no, a week or a month, a year, you're nuts, you're crazy. But when we talk about three days, yes, do this in case there's some kind of cyber attacks. Is the government looking out looking for the Brits? Same thing in America. Are the American government looking out for Americans? I mean, real quick, just for a moment, let's talk about what they want you to prep. Then I want to show you what's really going on behind the scenes. So full list of items Brits are urged to stockpile in case of a national emergency. What do they ask? Emergency contact numbers. Yep. Paper copy in case mobile systems are down. A battery operated torch and spare batteries. I love that for a flashlight, a torch uh, or a wind up torch, a battery operated radio and spare batteries or a wind up radio, essential medications, a first aid kit. And this is an important one to look at. Three days supply of bottled water and ready to eat food that won't go off or spoil. Important documents, insurance policies, birth certificates, keep them in a waterproof bag. Pen, paper, pen, knife, whistle, spare keys to your home, your car, spare glasses or contact lenses, and don't forget your babies and your fur babies. They need their supplies too. Okay, it's all well and good. Thank you, British government. And again, also American government for saying that we should stockpile for at least three days. I really think that three days is really short-sighted as far as what we need to prepare for. So what's going on here? Why are they putting this out? Because I want you to understand there's a reason for this. The reason isn't as much to make sure you have your baby supplies and extra sets of keys. No, let's go back to the original article. I want to point out something to you. First off, they insist that this call to action is not an attempt to engender a survivalist culture in Britain. Oh no, we don't want people to survive. And that he is not trying to be an alarmist and was merely presenting common sense advice. And I agree with that. But let's go all the way back up to the title of this article. Brits given act now warning to stockpile three days of food. Okay, that's the easy part. In case of enemy attack. You could easily see the same headlines in America. So what enemy attack are we talking about here? Again, they even named off like Iran, North Korea, Russia, et cetera, China. I'm not saying that couldn't happen. It very well could, especially when you talk about like even cyber attacks. But I want you to see it differently. I want you to understand what's happening here. First off, they don't want you to be a survivalist. They don't want you to stockpile for a long period of time. Just, just three days is fine. And Britain is suffering one of the same problems we have here in America. And that problem would be the incredible brash of illegal immigrants coming in the country. I don't even like the word illegal immigrant. So like you find some Mexican family that wants to come in and they're not here legally, that's illegal immigrants. They want to immigrate. Immigration is going into the culture and becoming an American eventually. That's their goal. When we see these people pouring into our country and Britain too, that's not their goal. They're not immigrants. They are nationals, nationals. And I constantly get emails from followers of the channel who say, look at this news and this news and this news. And the one thing I'm seeing constantly over and over are these nationals overwhelming certain areas and actually even attacking violently. And I believe all these foreign nationals, be it from China, be it from Iran, whatever the case may be, there's so many different places we could talk about, even Muslim countries are coming in and they're being mysteriously quiet in some ways because I believe they're looking for a larger attack. So personally, I believe this is what's happening. It's less about having three days of food in case there's an attack by Russia for a cyber attack and more three days of food for sheltering in place because that's one of the things they put on there too, by the way. If we have an attack, a cyber attack from Russia, for example, you pick any country, cyber attack us, why would they even really stress sheltering in place for three days? 
in case you're told to stay indoors for three days. That's, that's, that's the article. Look at it. It could trigger where Brits need to stay indoors for a period of days. Stay indoors. That's right in the main part of the article. Stay indoors. And I believe what they're seeing is there's going to be a concerted attack. They're going to come together and make some kind of attack within the country. Although it may look like a cyber attack from outside, I believe it's these foreign nationals who are going to do this. And I believe that's what they're trying to basically get you ready for without actually telling you to get ready for that particular type of attack. They simply say an attack from our enemies. And look, here's a picture, ironically, of some Russian people. So here's the thing. Of course, we should stockpile for three days. If you stockpile for three days, you're, dis you're doing yourself a disservice. Three days? Are you kidding me? That's a pack of saltines you have in your closet, in your pantry. You should instead be preparing for a week. You already have a week? Great. Now go for a month. You already have a month? Good. Go for six months. Go for a year. Have everything ready, including, by the way, the, probably the biggest thing we need to worry about in this particular article is not just food, but ways to protect yourself. Because if they're going to be having some kind of attack, cyber attack, sure, your power goes out, but it's the people. It's literally agents, national agents and such in your country that you're going to have to worry about and prepare for. So make sure you can protect yourself more than anything else with self-defense. So scary days are coming, especially with this year. I really believe before this year is up, we're going to be seeing some serious crap coming down the fan. So we have to be ready for this. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow.